G'day guys, Ben Johnson here from the Fight Centre. Today I'm just uh, looking to show you guys the routine that I use to warm myself up before I do any training, be it, um, be it going for a run, uh, boxing, Jiu Jitsu, Muay Thai. This general warm up routine that I use, I find it, it's really served me well. Um, it basically leaves nothing untouched. Unless, if I have a specific injury, I might, I might work something a little bit more, but this one here, just on a base level, I, I find it works really well. So hopefully it's, uh, it serves you guys well. You can take it and add it to the beginning of any of your workouts. All right, so when, when we do our uh, dynamic warm up, we basically, we're looking to warm up everything from basically the entire body because uh, what happens if you've got one little area that's tight, even if you're only boxing that day or you're only working on kicks that day, I still recommend warming up the entire body as you don't want to have one area tight that sort of throws everything out of balance. So I'll start at my wrists, I'll work all the way down through my entire body, all the way down to my feet. So I uh, basically the first, first movement I'll do is just circles through my wrists, pretty much all the movements that I do to, to warm up my joints are circles. So I'll start off with the wrist, doing circles both ways. I don't know, uh, I don't really spend any sort of set amount of time doing these, any, any sort of area, I just work until it feels good. So for you at home, I'm just going through each one quickly, but you might choose to spend a minute or two minutes or less on each, on each area you're working on. So from there, I'll go to my elbows. So we're working both elbows, you can do one at a time, you can do both at the same time, it doesn't really matter. Just working so it starts to feel like they're loosening up. So once you sort of loosen those elbows up, we go to our shoulders. Big circles to the shoulders. This is an important one, obviously, if you're boxing. Also for Muay Thai, the ass. I do spend a lot of time warming up those shoulders. So we won't start doing our swings just yet, where we're trying to stretch the muscle, but we're just loosening up the joint, just working and lubricating that joint with big circles. So once I've done my shoulders, notice that I also I put my shoulders in a different position as I, as I do the circles, sometimes they're back, sometimes they're forward, just trying to work through every sort of range that I might put them in through my training, uh, training session. From there, I loosen up that lower back and all through the torso, nothing jerky. We are just trying to get everything warm, trying to get everything everything moving, we'll do our jerky stuff during our workout, but for now we just want to get everything moving freely. From there I go to my, my hips and my lower back as well, still working that lower back, just doing big circles through the hips. I start off with a wider stance, keep a slight bend in the knees, and just go whatever feels good here. Sometimes I'll lean over and swing my body around a bit more, and then I'll come back up, I'll just work right through. This one feels really good, this is probably my favorite out of, uh, out of the whole warm-up routine. This is my favorite, favorite of them to do. I'll, bring, I'll then bring my legs together and just keep working that same sort of movement, just circles both ways. From there, I'll keep those feet together, come down to my knees and do circles through my knees. This not only warms up my knees, my knee joints, but also my ankles and all, and the base of my feet. You see I'm working right through as I do those circles. I'm trying to work through all my pads and my feet and just really feel the ground and take that take those all those little uh those those small bones through my feet just get them all moving as well. So I'll be down here doing big deep circles so I can feel through my ankles going both ways. After I've done that again you spend as long as you want on each of these after I've done that, I come up and I start to warm my neck just by looking left and right. Nothing jerky here again. Just taking it through its range without over, overly straining. And I go up and down. After I've gone through up and down, feeling that start to loosen up, I'll do big circles. And you take your time here, you can sort of do whatever feels good. It doesn't really matter too much. Again, if, as long as you're not straining, you're just being gentle, but taking it through its range. It's gonna feel really good. It's gonna really start to loosen that neck up. From there, I'll, uh, I, I personally, I, I find I do have some troubles with my lower back. Maybe because of the Muay Thai stance being a little bit rolled through my hips, I might have some, that might cause me to have some trouble through my lower back. So. It's not going to hurt you as well if you're doing it at home, but I'll 
just do some rocking on my back here like this. Again, gentle, I'm not, I'm not violently rocking around, but just sort of feeling that and put pressure on my back. This floor I've got here is really nice for because it's because it's padded. Um, maybe if you're doing it at home, you don't have pads like this, you might use a towel or a yoga mat or do it on some carpet, just something that's gonna soften it up a little bit. Now I'll stretch out and just go side to side nice and gently. Again, I'm not holding it, this isn't this isn't a stretch. We're just trying to loosen up all through those hips and lower back as we do this. My other one that I do for my lower back, which is probably my favorite, or one of, one of my favorites, but I only started doing it recently, I've noticed a massive, a massive difference to my training. I'll do it even before I go for a run. I notice it loosens up everything and I can start my run at a, at a hard pace rather than easy for the first kilometer and then picking up from there. So I do what's a, it's a, in yoga they call it a, a cat cow. But basically I'm on, on all fours, I'll arch my back, as I exhale, and then arch the other way on the inhale. And I'll do this a bunch of times. I might, you know, I might spend two or three minutes doing this. Just trying to limber up that back, trying to get it nice and loose. Remember, exhale as you look down, and inhale as you look up. And then I'll even start to get a bit of movement through it and just do whatever feels good here. Again, I'm, you know, you sort of feel silly to start doing it, but I, you know, that goes away after doing it two or three times, especially at the gym, you know, you, you, you think, oh, people are looking at me, I'm doing this funny, but honestly, after the first two or three times, you forget about it, you just, you just feel good and your training is so much better, just because you're so much more loose and you can go do freely whatever, the, whatever movement you want to do through that lower back without any sort of pain. So once we've done our dynamic movement to uh, warm up our joints, I'm then gonna start looking at warming up all the different muscles I'm gonna be using. So uh, in Muay Thai, that's pretty much the whole body. So I will start off with my, with my upper body, start working my chest, just opening up that pectoral muscle. I do one at a time, both at the same time. Doesn't matter too much, but what I try and stick to is about six to 10 swings or, or movements per area. So after I've done my chest, I'll then go forwards. I'll be looking at, looking at working through my lat, uh, lats and lower traps. Swing through like this. So let's say I've done six to 10 on each side and that's all nice and loose. Again, I'll just go through this nice and quickly and you guys can spend a little bit longer on at home. If I've done that, I'll work on my, um, my tricep, flicking it just to touch my own shoulder, lift it up behind my head and I'll just flick it backwards to touch my own shoulder. So you can see that. Up here, up nice and high, just flick it, touch the shoulder. Um, once I've done that, basically, I'll start to work on my, my lower body. So my leg swings, going forward, I use my hand as an indicator. So I'm reaching for my hand instead of just swinging my leg on its own. I'll give myself something to reach. Again, I'm looking to do six to 10 per swing to the side. Again, I'm doing both legs. I'll just go through this quickly for you guys. Six to the side, I'm still using that hand as an indicator. After I've done that, I'm looking at going, going to the back and trying to warm my glutes. So I use my wall here, hands like this. I'm basically trying to flick my, my heel up towards the opposite shoulder. So I don't want to get a big run up for these. And you, know, you might, may have noticed before when I was doing my leg swings, I wasn't swinging back to swing forward, but I'd go from, from neutral, okay? Same with all of these. From neutral, I just swing my heel up towards my shoulder. After I've done that, I'm gonna warm up my, uh, my thighs here, my quads, by flicking my, my heel to my bum, and then my hip flexor muscle by extending the entire leg backwards and pointing my toe towards the back wall. So the whole thing was my chest, my back, my triceps. I then came down to my hamstrings, doing my swings, my adductors, doing my swings to the side, my quads, this way, my glutes, 
this way and my hip flexor extending the entire leg backwards. That, the, the entire warm up, um, you know, you may, you may choose to do a little bit of shadow boxing or a little bit of skipping just to get a little bit of, a little bit of blood flowing before you start any of it. But um, my entire warm up, including that couple of minutes of the light exercise to get, to get me puffing a little bit, including that, then my, my joints, then my muscles, can take anywhere up to 20, 20 minutes, half an hour. My, my advice is don't rush it. Take your time. It's much better to spend that little bit of extra time, especially if you're getting older. Younger guys seem to get away with it, but especially if you're starting to get older, spend that extra time so that you're not going to get injured. Put yourself out of training. You know, you're, you're just hurting yourself. So good luck, guys. Hope that helps.